Hello. Okay, so what we're going to do is look at logo creation. Now, in order to look at logos, simply go to the Fast AI Image Designer. And if you want to create a logo, simply select the logo and you'll see a nice variety of different logos you can choose from. And what this means is that it will create a logo based on these representations, but you can modify. These are like base templates you can select and then you can modify as you see fit. But uh, alongside that, you can actually use something called Mirror Magic. So if you have another logo uh, you would like to model, uh, you can simply drag and drop. So the moment you select a particular logo from even these templates, okay, uh, you'll see the whole breakdown of it or the prompt in the prompt section. Uh, just like we've looked at before, you can enhance the prompt, you can modify anything in there, whether it's uh, the words, anything you wanna change, you can do, okay? Uh, or just the other key thing, if you have any other examples, instead of using these um, uh, prompts essentially that you can modify, you can use any logo and recreate it from uh, you know, the internet or any inspiration you have, you can use Mirror Magic in doing so. Uh, everything else in terms of settings, you you can assign a folder, select the visibility and select the quantity in mind. So for this example, let's go ahead and select four. You can choose the aspect ratio. And let's go ahead and I'll just show you what that would look like. So once you generate, it will be the same um, process of just allowing it to process and once it processes you can go ahead download you can edit in the advanced ai advanced ai image designer and you can actually view so here's some uh, examples here and everything you can obviously modify you can change the lettering the color scheme etc uh, etc et uh, if you want just simply go to regenerate uh, if you want to make any changes uh, create a luxurious and elegant logo design uh, let's just say let's go down so we know it says the A in the, um, so that's the A there. So you can see the, the, the uh, posture mark. So we've got the A, okay. And then what we're looking for is you've got the additional text there, okay. So we've got additional text there. And we can see here we have, look, it's got the stylized crown, uh, gold crown, which we can obviously change if we want. And what we need to do is go to, let's select this, okay. Okay, make the letter A to a B as an example, okay. So you have to be, you know, be as specific as you can in describing the prompt because the better you are in describing the prompt, uh, the better results you will have. And you can see now that A has turned into B uh, alongside that what we can do, we can actually change the lettering here as well. So in this example, okay, so we don't want that. Change artistically to success, okay. And just go ahead and edit. So you can make these edits without having to go through things yourself. Uh, and even the font, you can change anything you want. So here we have, okay. And just like that, we go to quantity four and keep it as high quality. Let's go generate an image. And then we'll go ahead and allow that to process. So the great thing is about by having four different versions, it just gives you more choice. Okay, so where we have an issue is we put artistically. So what we should have done, which I'll show you in just a moment. So say this is actually a good, good example. So if I've made a mistake, I come back here, let's regenerate. And what I'm looking for is replace, replace the word brand to success. Okay, edit the prompt. And then once that's done, we are now good to go. So I always like getting four, the more the better. So you can imagine whether it's personal project or client projects, just having the ability to give diff more than one version, it gives the client more choice that they can choose from. And using you know things like the advanced editor, you can put a watermark over the top just to protect um, your content. So you can see, look, we've got some really good versions here. Sometimes in some instances, you might get some additional text here, um, but that's why what is great for um, 
you know, having those four versions, but also the other function, you can actually go ahead and you can regenerate if you want to fix anything and, and teach um, the uh, AI to correct any issues. Because sometimes it may happen, it's not the end of the world. So something like this, if, if I like this example, then I can regenerate it and fix anything that I didn't like or rebrand it. And anything uh, and everything, I guess you can. Well, yes, of course you can alter it. So if I come back to logo, let's have another look of here. So you've got the word artistically. I can just type in. Let's do success. And let's just copy that across. And we'll go ahead. And that's it. So remember the color scheme, anything and everything, just as long as you put it in the prompt, um, and give it directions, it will do what you want. So it might be a case that you have a particular color in mind, maybe you have a different, uh, a particular theme in mind, maybe you have something particular about removing um, the crown, uh, maybe the placement of the text or the font, uh, maybe you want to put a person in there, whatever it may be, uh, it just makes life so, so, so much easier. And there we have a nice prompt there of success, okay? So in this video, we have looked at how you can create a logo using Artistly.